Hey everyone, in the news this week, the clocks are going back this weekend, which means that commuters in Southern Rail might be lucky enough to see their trains turn up 20 minutes early. Unfortunately though, it's a busy weekend for staff at Windsor Castle, where the gardening team's going to have to rotate all the sundials by 15 degrees. There was the inquiry into Partygate, setting up to determine whether or not Boris is suitable to manage a party, whether it be the Conservative Party or the other one with all the wine and the laws being broken. And there's anger in Cheshire after a woman was buried at the wrong grave. And personally, I don't blame her husband for being angry at the grave digger. I bet he lost the plot. Somewhere else that lost the plot this week was France and Paris especially, where it's just been a constant orgy of destruction with protesters taking to the streets to protest the government. I saw Baker being interviewed and he said his mother's sister was very angry, something about a cross aunt. Officially, the protesting is about the government's decision to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64, but in reality there's a lot of other things going on here, you know, from how much the sanitation workers get paid to the price of petrol. Then you've got the farmers enviously seeing what just happened across the border in Holland, where the farmer citizen movement somehow managed to go from one seat to becoming the largest party in the upper chamber. But back to France. Charles de Gaulle once said, how can anyone govern a nation that has 246 kinds of cheese? Albeit I imagine he said that quote in French. And the answer in this case is a little part of the French constitution, section 49-3, which gives the president almost absolute power to push through laws unless the parliament decides to dissolve the assembly in protest. It's the power that de Gaulle himself designed for handling the Algerian crisis back in the 60s, although in this case they weren't keen enough to bring down the entire government over what would be a common sense issue in many countries, retirement ages. Although it is of course worth noting it, it is not the same as other countries. France eats snails for instance, albeit I think that's largely due to a misunderstanding about it being the opposite of fast food. And they have the Eiffel Tower, but for the last time I visited it, they'd seemingly never finished it because it was just a big old scaffolding around whatever was in the inside. Then you've got its history as a hotbed of political revolution, although I was once told that you should never joke about French history because it's nothing to Lafayette. You can keep all those jokes by the way, they're French and therefore royalty free. As to the protesters, best of luck to them I guess, but if they don't like President Macron they should have maybe not voted them in twice. The other piece of advice I'd give them is if you are arrested and you want to escape, try shouting angrily in German. That seems to work for my hair. Anyway, see you next week. Please subscribe.